also while I was doing this, I was listening to a book called Ikigai. Ikigai is a Japanese word that means finding purpose in life. And as a person who is familiar with existential crisis, that book is really... I love it. See the outcome. can listen to music while doing this or a book as I've been doing no I, I was watching at first and then now I'm listening to a book it's called Ikigai Ikigai is a Japanese word I don't know if it's a self-help Hey, self help. I don't know if it's a self help book or a um, motivation book. It's not motivation. It's a lifestyle book. I think it's a lifestyle book that talks about life. And all those things about mindfulness, diet meaning you see the way life can feel meaningless sometimes so that book i love it because it tries to find the meaning of life and that is what i do every day because sometimes it feels very i don't know empty yeah so it's a nice book and I usually find it easier to listen to non-fictional okay it's not a uh, non-fictional books um it's easier I find it easier to listen to non-fictional books than fictional books because I have a very low concentration span and it's easier to follow something that is not a story so I don't know the author. I think I'll leave the details about the book in the description. Bah. And I say that because I've tried. Before that Ikigai book, I was trying to read The Concubine by someone, Elechi. Someone. And I could not, I could not follow the story. I called it. But every time I try to read, fictional books to listen to fictional books I, I don't I don't follow but it's better when it's non-fictional books I also listened to Big Magic if you don't know the authors of these books so whatever book I've mentioned I'll leave the details in the description bar Big Magic is Basically tells you to reach out, tap into your potential, don't be afraid to try things, to do things, believe in your art, work, craft, ideas. Yes, it's a lovely book. And by the way, if you are majoring in literature in uni and the books, the books are usually very many and you still have other courses to do uh, find yourself an app that can that's what is it called google text to speech translate so when you listen to it on audio it's easier to finish the book in time or even when you listen and read listen while following with your eyes that's what i used to do so uh, to read more of those books because you need the 
the knowledge in your head for the exams and the cuts and the work and the group work I mean so it's easier to listen to those books than read all of them unless you're a very very fast reader and then it's not all about reading so you have to uh, understand whatever concept you're supposed to understand from those books and there are many so find yourself an app it's not the best voice to listen to because it's computerized it's not it doesn't have that human feel but it's helpful yeah it's very helpful so if you're a student and you're wallowing in unread books essays essays <laughs> and and reports because some of our literature teachers used to give us their thesis and those things are very very they're long they're not very 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 long but they are long so you know, such an app can really go a long way in helping you yeah so so far this is where we are at i don't like how it begins kind of wider here and then it goes narrowing so i'll find a way to add more here and here and follow that pattern so that it becomes leveled kind of leveled remember you punch you remove it and not completely out and then you return it you remove you return and you do that over and over and over again until you have your punch needle rug i don't know what this thing is called i don't know if we can call it a punch needle yarn rug yarn doormat punch needle yarn whatever it is it's kind of cute so this thing is easy to make it's time taking it's time taking and you have to be patient because if you're not patient you'll oh i forgot to tell you when you're punching make sure you punch it all the way up to there where it stops before you remove because if you do this maybe you punch it up to there and then you remove or up to there and then you remove the the some of the those two hoops or the call loops will be shorter than others so make them the same size as much as you can uh, make sure your needle goes all the way to that point every time like that all the way so I think I'll do the rest of this thing of com of camera and then I'll show you the results. And initially, I was to use all these colors. The person I who bought me these things uh, asked me what colors they should bring, and it was I didn't have to think, so I told her, just bring any. Nini nini. I cannot. The person that I am cannot use all these colors and if i was there in that store 
I would have bought something gray or navy blue something very very low key so I decided whatever will transpire or wherever I will reach with this thing I'll just use this three and then I'll add more if I run out So I am done. This was green. This is burgundy. This big G over here was a mistake. Okay, so this is how it looks. We'll trim this one, and this is where we began. We'll trim this, these two. So when you are at the end, you do what you did when you began. Let me show you. Okay, you. You punch and then you hold it and you repeat you punch again and then you hold it so you have two loops and then you tie them together like in the beginning two knots yes trim this long ones with your scissors see you can't even tell and then this other part too that is it hope you've learned something also you can trim these parts and then this this is your needle you cut off this end Thank you.